you know, people say like, oh, it's not, it's nothing personal, it's just business. Well, it's all personal. It's all personal. So let's eliminate that from our vocabulary. Talking about building a personal brand. A couple of things I want to lay out before we get started. Number one, personal branding weaves together your life and your work in the form of sharing your life's work. That's really it. You're just sharing. It's almost funny to me, like you hear, you hear people talk about this personal branding and oh, I'm currently building my personal brand. They make it sound like it's freaking Elon Musk building rocket ships. Like, like it's some huge fancy thing. Your personal brand is just your reputation. So it's not necessarily that I'm actually a great storyteller. I'm literally just documenting my life. It's just your reputation. It's just what people say about you when you're not around, what people think of when they hear your name. What do they associate when they hear Tyler Harris? That's my personal brand. Another way to look at it is, is there a certain subject matter in which you wanna be perceived as an expert? Or are there just general qualities that you want to have linked to your brand? People wanna connect with the business and that means that they're going, to get, they're going to have to connect with someone within it. And so whether that's you or not, but there needs to be a face, I believe, of, of a business. And especially as the market corrects, especially as the economy um, starts to crash, but it's going to, when that happens, people are going to continue to do business with the people that they feel like they know. They're going to continue to do business with people that they can feel like they trust and that they actually have a relationship with. I did an interesting experiment on one of these live Q and A's the other day. And I said, how many of you guys feel like you know me? Like legitimately in the comments say, I know you. If you think like, you know me, if, if you feel like, you know me. And these people put, I know you, I know you, I know you. And I went through and I'm like, okay, so Joe Schmo here. I know Joe lives in you know, Arkansas. Uh, I think he's a general contractor, but hey, that's, that's pretty much the extent that I know about Joe. But Joe just said, he feels like he knows me. And he feels like he knows me because he's gotten on all these live streams, that he's seen all this content come out every single day for the last two years. And so if Joe was potentially a customer, potentially a client, and all of a sudden the market goes, Ooh, and he needs services that he knows that I offer, guess what? He's gonna come to me because he's gonna feel like he knows me. He's gonna feel like he can trust me. So I think it's super, super important that there is some personal aspect to the business brand that you're building. Um, whether you want to keep that stuff, you know, a lot of it separate and just, you know, mesh some of it, or you want to just mesh it all together. It completely depends on the business. It depends on the industry, if you're in financial services, that becomes a little bit more difficult. Um, so I think that question is very personal to you. Um, but I just would not shy away from putting your personal stuff in your business brand, because I think that's the stuff that people are going to really, really resonate with. I think it's just your mindset. It's your intent going into it. Like if your intent is to elevate yourself, then it's going to come across a certain way. If your intent is to provide value by the conversations that you happen to just be filming that wouldn't normally ordinarily be filmed, then it's just a completely different perspective on it.